Welcome back to the show, guys. Guess what today is? Today is part two. Part two of the crazy episode. If you saw part one, you know what I'm talking about. This is where we are in Texas. We are at world famous Camelot Bell, and we are in a death match with my good buddies. That's right, Andrew Upshaw and myself, and we're fishing against Bradley Hallman and Todd Castledine. It, we've got them on the ropes. They had us on the ropes. It's back and forth. Big fish are coming and bragging rights at the end of this show. So guys, stay tuned. Camelot Bell, Texas, team challenge. It doesn't get any better than this. All right, dude, we gotta get, we gotta get serious. There's coontail in here. Totally different lake. Totally different lake. We wrecked them in part one, destroyed them. Dude, we might be able to flip that right there. So we're back at Camelot Bell property, two lakes. Wolfpack Lake and Camelot Bell Lake, Land of the Giants, freak shows right here. My boy Andrew and I versus Todd Castledine and Bradley Hallman. A little battle of the roommates. Oh, they might have got us by just a little bit in episode one, but episode two, dude, we're bringing our A game. Oh, they, they better bring it, because right. it's, it's, it's gonna be yeah, brought. You're going down, boys. We beat him in part one. We're gonna beat him in part two, and when we do, he's never gonna invite us back for any of the challenges. <laughs> See, like, I get out here in seven, dude and you start seeing fish. Dude, this place looks totally different than the one we were just on. Points, re, it's, it's different. Yeah, it's like different. there's not the tree cover, like it's a totally different place. We're gonna catch them here. You know, there's milfoil in here. There's, um, there's gonna be brush piles. Pretty big lake. We're gonna jack one up in here. It's gonna be a donk donk. Oh my gosh, yes, oh yes, oh yes. I was on the phone, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, that's what I'm talking about. Right off the bat, in your face, dude. Did you see the look on Holman's face? He's like, yes. Like deer in headlights, no doubt about it. He saw me swing that thing in, changed everything. That helps. Dude, check that out, boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's going to call us up quite a oh, bit, yeah. dude. I, I don't know. Um, um, it, it, the, this lake's set up so different, like big time different. And we ain't, we figured out the other one. We did figure it out. Even though we, we figured out there was two ways to catch them for sure, and only two ways. Change colors. Caught a real big one on some swim baits in the first episode. And this water's a little, a little cleaner. So I'm gonna go to this 4.8. It's a Guggenbait Saucy Swimmer. And I've got it rigged up on a weedless hook, kind of Okeechobee style. So I can I can kind of fish it through those trees. Try to get one of these giants. I mean, the goal, look, here's the goal. Our goal is to beat Todd and those guys. I mean, they've got a good bag of fish from the first episode. We don't know exactly what. But the big deal is just catching the biggest fish today. It's $500 on the line. That is the main objective to catch a fish over 10. This is Camelot Bell. The other one was Wolfpack. Wolf, wolf pack. So, I mean, this is the and right world now, class. I'm, we're liking right Wolfpack better. It fit. It might have fit our style more. But I think it may just have to do with more the fact that we were on Wolfpack in the morning hours. And now we've got, you know, we're here in September, um, fall transition, hardest time of the year to catch a fish. And uh, it's tough right even there. here. You just break off. Yeah. Dude. Dude. What in the heck? Like for real, that was. I mean, did you see my did you oh, hear yeah. my rod go? No. Wee! I got one. Big one? No. Ah. Ah. There he is. One big bomb. one, big one, big one. Better, yeah, he's gonna call for sure. Told you, what'd I tell you about that? What'd I tell you about that freaking, that spinnerbait? Spinnerbait, 10 inch worm? No, I threw that spinnerbait out there and found my pile and threw out there. I told you how us school guys do. Oh, <laughs> your, your own personal live scope. Yeah, I told I'm you, I got my own personal live scope I'm out there. I'll tell you what I love is this, New layout of this. This is a Skeeter FXR, which is a. I mean, it's like a little Lamborghini. I mean, I, I love, the, I love the look. 
I love the layout. The deck space is awesome. Um, just even sitting right here, just rigging tackle. I mean, th that's an awesome part of the boat because you spend a lot of time right here. All the compartments, you have all the storage you need, and it's just it's just a solid platform. I mean, I'm really, really impressed with the Skeeter FXR. Uh, fast, just rides awesome. Really digging the new boat. Got it? Yep. Big one? Yep. Good enough. Is there another one with it? Nope. Dude, I think there was another one with it. You, you got him, flip him. I pulled that trench hog up to the top of that treetop right there. You can see it on Pan Optics. You can see the fish, which is really cool. You can see the fish in the treetop. You can see the blobs. Got that fish to react. Look how fat he is, though. Now, is that on a wacky worm? What were you doing? You did something tricky, didn't you? I did. I went real tricky. <laughs> you know, we're here on this world famous, world famous fishery, Camelot Bell. If you want to see some impressive stuff, guys, you got to go check out their Instagram page. Legit 10, 11, 12 pounders caught all the time. I'm not sure if we're going to catch one today. And I will say this, just to kind of you know, put this in full context. We're here early September. The lakes are literally turning over as we speak. And it's probably the toughest time of the year anywhere in the country to catch a big fish, much less even any fish. But we're here and we're still having a great time, still catching some really quality fish. I can only imagine coming here in the spring uh, or in the hard fall, throwing spinnerbaits and, and spawning time of the year. I mean, just Could you dogs. imagine the, the frog bites that you would get oh. here? Yeah. Like ridiculous. Oh, the stories I hear. I mean, unbelievable. yeah, you, you look at the reed banks. This is this is straight up freak show here. Oh yeah. Oh, eat it. Oh boy. The big one? Yeah. It's a big one. Big one, dude. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Get her, get her, get her, get her. Woo. Yeah. How you like me now? Oh that's my what I'm gosh, talking about, that was a dude. Giant. I'm screaming. Yeah, I, I went a little too crazy, okay? I get it. But Hallman and Castledine, they're shaking in their boots. Good one right there, dude. What'd you catch that on? I was I on the something on. Black and blue, baby. That's a gone. It ripped it off. It's gone. Trench hog, black and blue. Oh yeah. Come back farther. All right, I know you think I'm crazy, dude, but here's what I think. We're gonna, we're, we gotta go right now. We gotta go. They're not watching. They're in the back of the lake. The, you get the truck, back the trailer down, and let's get out of here and go back to the lake. Oh, look. No? All right, get out. Go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Just go. We just gotta get out of here. I just heard something. Something's going on, Holman. Why did they drop him off? If they loaded... They're not gonna know what happened. They're not even gonna know we left. They're not even gonna know we left. Oh, yeah. That's great. When they see us drive by on the road, they're gonna trip. Look, look, look. Oh, I see him, yeah. <laughs> they were headed to the other lake. <laughs> Look at them. Look at them. They're tripping right now. I don't know, man. I don't know what they're doing. Are we going to do it? No. We're going to stay here? We're going to stay here and whack them. Seriously? They don't know what to do. Look at them. They're talking right now. They're like, oh my God, dude, he just pulled out. I didn't know they're going to the other lake. But we gotta go now, we can't like wait five minutes. Cause every time we wait, as long as they get to fish more of it. Well, they're gonna start out there on their tree. Yeah, if we get there, we're gonna go down our bank. <laughs> roll camera, roll. You ready? Yep, I'm Let's ready. Let's go, all right. Just leave it on the ramp. Every second counts. You didn't take the keys though, did you? No. Okay. 
I just want to make it a little inconvenient for them. Look at this. They want to block us in? You want to block us in? You're going to block us in? Jake, Jake's getting out of the way. We're loading your boat on Scott's trailer. What are they going to say about that now? <laughs> look at look at McCoy. Look at McCoy. I don't know what's going on. McCoy's so freaking scared right now. Look at him. He has no idea what's going on. He backed up. He backed up. Yeah, people think that it's a Phoenix or won't fit on a Ranger trailer or a Ranger won't fit on a Skeeter trailer. Go. Is that gonna work? Nope. Nope. Let me tell you something. I don't care if you work for Scott or you're his son. Don't be block us, blocking us in. You don't block us in. Keep going, McCoy. Hey, hey, tough luck. You shouldn't have been blocking us in. Keys are in that truck. Keys are in that truck. He thinks we're joking. Look at him. Look at him running. Running, dude. Then they're going to run down there, and the truck's going to be in the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We better hurry. Get in, because we're cutting them off right in front of them. Hey, you run back here, because we're cutting them off. Oh, that's funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> They're going so fast. I'm just telling you, I know Scott. It bothered him. And that's why they went in that pocket real quick so we couldn't see it, what was going on. That's what happened. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but it made no sense that they caught a big one out there and they came back out and was fishing in the middle. I, that's my point. And they didn't try it anywhere else. How about this cutoff? Uh, I'd get a little more. I mean, we're going to cut. Let's cut. <laughs> Look at <laughs> Yeah, you don't even know what it did. They're just out of whack, dude. Oh, yeah. They're so out of whack. Well, they're doing just what we thought they'd be over here doing. They're right on our stretch, dude. We got to cut them off. Like, cut them off where we want to be. And then we're going to go catch, catch them right in front of them, too. Oh, did we block you? That's our bad. Look at this, dude. We, no, but we just freaking roll up in front of them and start freaking jacking, jacking them. Look at them, they're so mad. They don't. That's because they don't know what to fish. Then we're gonna go behind them right after this and go catch them. There we go. Biggin. Nope. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh yeah. I don't think he's gonna help us. Nope, I don't think so either. We still have a two pounder we gotta get rid of, dude. Yep. If we can get a, rid of a two pounder with like a, a seven or eight pounder, we might beat them. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking. Not bad. What was going on there? My frog went underwater. Uh, oh, I got him. Got him. I got him. I got him, Todd. It ain't him. It's not him. No, no. I thought he'd stay under. We need to win this because bragging rights are serious, right? I don't, I, I mean, I care about the money, but the bragging rights, if we can beat them on the five fish, look, anybody can catch a big one, right? But we want to win the five fish stringer. That's what we're going for, five big ones. Yeah. Oh yeah, big, big, big. I don't know what part of the branch it's on, dude. We'll figure it out. It's still on? Yeah. Oh yeah, he's big, dude. Break that top branch off. Over this here side. it comes, here it comes. Here, right here, right here. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, he's on that branch. Go, get me closer, get me closer, get me closer. Go straight. I'm going. He's out, he's out, he's out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Get her, dude. Just get your mouth, get your hands on her mouth. Yeah. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah, boy! Bam! <laughs> dude. Uh. Dude, Camelot Bell, baby. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I thought I was going swimming. Oh no, dude, you're like, get it, <laughs> I was like, get, get it closer, get, get it closer, get it closer. Oh, that might've put us over the top. Big one, oh yes. Now, that changes things quite a bit. Oh yeah, I mean, that is a monster bass, dude. No Camelot doubt about Bell, it. Camelot Bell, baby, freak show. Look how fat that fish is, guys. September bass, oh, wow. Wow, that's a big call, dude. 
big one. No, no, just come over here. No, 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 come here, come here. Come here, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Just, just get him, just get him, get him. I got it. You got, got him? him? I got him. Oh. I got him. Get him, son. I got him. Bingo. <laughs> Dude, we didn't jump, it got both hooks in it. Did you see that? Yes. I was like, oh God, no, What are you going to do? I don't know, get him. <laughs> Dude, that's what happened. It flipped on in there and got him on the other side. You're like, you're like, you know, I don't know what you wanted to get. <laughs> Dude, hey, did you see that swirl? Oh, yes. Big, 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 big. What are you going to do? You just hold on. Oh, yeah, big, big. Oh, my gosh, dude. What are you going to do? Ah, right, you're going to have to grab this big joker. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, keep her down, keep her down, right here, swing this one. Got her, dude, got her. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh my gosh. Well, that Cole's a three pounder. Yeah. How you like that, Todd? Oh, yes, my friend, my friend, my foe, my enemy. You saw that one from here. You felt it deep in your soul, didn't you? I saw a little quiver. I can see that little quiver in your eye from all the way across the lake when we landed that fish, dude. You went. <laughs> Whoever wins this challenge, I mean, like that, that it's just, it's just, they're gonna rub it in. If they win, they're gonna rub it in, dude. Forever. Like every oh, tournament. Yeah. Like, it's gonna be close, dude. Boys, Camelot Bell, did it produce or what? I think we both beat all, like our weights and y'all's yeah. weights both beat in one day, all of our two day weights at Rayburn. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's crazy. Like, yeah, absolutely. like, and we were out here, yeah. it wasn't even close. And we caught them so, different, so many ways, shallow, deep, and in between. Right. So look, here's the deal. We're gonna keep it real simple because there's so much footage here to go through. You got a five fish winner and we're gonna big fish winner. You tell me right now what your five fish stringer weighed. 26.31. 26 pounds and 26, 31. Yes. Ours is 26, 29. Oh my no. gosh. But we gotta weigh something else, I'm sorry, actually. We forgot to weigh one from earlier. Might help us just by a little bit. Yeah. That one right there. Ooh. Little Camelot. So you got 26 even before that one. Yeah. 767. Okay. 767. So you can tell the 30. Big fish. What's our total? Our total is 30.42. 30.42. So that means we're the five fish champ, dude, and that's a pretty big deal because I thought y'all had us whoop big time. But the money right now, big money, double or nothing, is on big fish. What do you got? We have 8.75. What? Dang it, And dude. that was y'all's biggest that's one. That's our biggest seven. one yep. right there. Y'all are the it. champs on the big fish, bro. Yeah. So we've jacked up 30, and y'all jacked up big fish and Camelot Bell. Dude, I can't wait to do it again. You guys name the place, name the time. Castle Rock and I'll be there. We're there. Hey, you got to buy dinner, dude. You're buying dinner. <laughs> You're buying dinner. <laughs>